Hey everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Black. So we're pretty much at the exit of this cave, and um, as you try to go towards the exit, we find a good old friend here. And N is talking about some more random stuff that I don't understand. Uh, I don't really have any dream, like, just doing whatever. Now again, he does not have any of his previous team, he's going to have Pokémon that you can find in this place. So you should be plenty familiar with these Pokémon. Let's start out with the annoying... Bulldor here, but of course we have Mr. Norris, so who will have no difficulty taking this thing out. Again, you know, unless you've used like super repels like the whole time through this cave, uh, you should have ran into a number of uh, random battles with these Pokémon here. And again, you should be very familiar with how to counter these uh, Pokémon. Alright, um... So the Jolt Tick again is like... Bug and Electric or something? Some weird typing. Uh, this Pharaoh Seed is, uh, it's a Grass and Steel hybrid. I used to think it was Bug and Steel, but it's actually Grass and Steel. So which means, uh, fighting is actually super effective. Now, uh, if you've got any fire attacks, feel free to use them, because, uh, one fire attack will probably, uh, knock that thing out instantly. And the last thing he's got is a clink. Again, should be no issue for you here. Look, I haven't even broken a sweat here. And drop some more money for me. Look, because I'm better than you, I haven't I didn't even try to kick your butt in that battle. Now, of course, you two follow right behind me, you know, let me do all the work here. Uh, my voice, I don't even talk in this game. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't talk in this game here, so... I don't know how you heard me talk here. <laughs> You're not my biggest fan. Oh, uh, yeah, um... Uh, his reasoning is, um... There's kind of a... A reason why he thinks like that. Um... You won't find out for uh, quite a while, actually. But eventually you learn why he thinks like that. Okay, you can go and do whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna head out of the cave here. Finally. Alright, out of this cave.
Or into uh, Mistral Tin City. Um, I like the music in this place, actually. Uh, maybe not as much as in Driftvale City, but uh, still, you know, pretty cool music, I guess. Uh, this place here um, is actually a little bit important for you. Uh, the two people in the back you want to keep in mind, because um, this person here is, uh, I guess you can call this person the move relearner, I guess, or, yeah, move relearner. Um, the person will teach every move you can think of, you know, f to a Pokemon by level up. So good for those moves that you learn, like, early on, but you can't get them because it, you know, evolves too late. Uh, the other guy there was the uh, move deleter. It's great for getting rid of HMs. I mean, TMs, you can get rid of TMs at any time, just keep swapping them back and forth, but it's the HMs. Um, you can dump out those moves at your convenience, so... Um, now you have a way to... Um, get rid of those HMs. Uh, that person there will tell you what type your hidden power is. Uh, but I don't think the person tells you the power of it. Um, there, it, it really depends. I think it depends on your IVs. And there's like some equation that's used to calculate it. I don't even go into that. Alright, you can buy some more stuff here. I'm just gonna throw out some more money. Not that you really need that much money in this game. And this person sells a bunch of TMs that uh, affect weather. Really not useful right now, and look how much they cost. That's gonna put like a major dent into my wallet here. So I'm not even gonna bother um, uh, buying any of that yet. All right, um, we're gonna start exploring this uh, city, I guess. Alright, uh, I took a little break there. Um, now I'll get back to exploring here. Uh, before we get too far up here, we find uh, some random people there. Oh, hello. How do you know me? I don't even know who you are. And don't worry, you have to see a clink, because N has one. Oh, another Juniper. Wow, didn't know that was that popular. You're talking with a bunch of exclamation points here, man, you're... kind of a... I don't know... what we call it, easygoing, or uh, maybe a way too in excitable person? I don't know, what do you want to call them? Okay, so here's the gym leader, actually. Well, of course I gotta challenge the gym at some point. Yeah, he's kind of a weird... Person, I'm not even gonna go into that. Jeez, no wonder why uh, the other Juniper is kind of weird as well. Uh, 
Uh, okay. That's weird. If you want, no, no, no. When that, what that means is that you have to go there, obviously. So, um, yeah. Uh, but we're let's uh, take a little bit of time to scout around the place here. Luckily, not a big city here. All right. Um. Make sure you come back here after you get the the badge uh, from this city. I get some goodies for that. And again, you have to get fly. Now you'll have to have fly because uh, Bianca gives that to you. Uh, Driftville City. All right, now this person here will give you a free sharp beak. Uh, his powers up uh, flying type moves, I believe. I don't know what these sweet heart things are, so kind of weird. Uh, beside the freebie, I'm not even sure what uh, what's the significance of this place here. It's kind of a nice runway here. Yeah, you think it's really smart to go on a runway? Uh, I guess luckily these planes don't go around that much. Alright, let's pick up this thing here. Uh, TM58 uh, Skydrop. Um, let me see what this thing does. I Again, I've never really heard of this move. What is it supposed to be like dig or something? Or you know, I'm not even sure if they can switch actually if you use that move. I'm not sure exactly how it works, so I've seen it in some competitive battles, so I guess it's kind of an interesting move. Alright, um going down here there are actually a few hidden items here, so it's uh Pick these up really quick. Huh, <laughs> a repel. Seriously? Got some trash items here. Alright, so that's a better item, a max ether. So let's see, let's run along the the landing strip here. I guess because planes don't they only go once a day. Which is kinda weird. I mean in real life you don't ever see that. It's like planes are always taking off from runways like constantly. Alright, so this is the gym, and of course, you know, we can't really do anything yet. Um, so we'll be coming back here a little bit later. Alright, so we're gonna head on up um, uh, this road here because uh, we have to.
trying to figure out what to do here with my team. Um, uh, let's see here. Because uh, this route is going to be a little bit tricky here. Uh, again, a little time warp there. Um, I'm actually going to speeding up this next little part here. Uh, because this should be just a little bit of EXP crunching here. Uh, but you will... Well, you'll see some new Pokémon, I think. Maybe not. Um, I think all of this you've actually seen before. Uh, the big thing is, you start seeing some evolved Pokémon here. So you can find a Watchog, the Zep Striker, you know, if you didn't have your own Zebra you're raising. Uh, this Tranquil here. So they actually kind of up the ante on you in this place, especially the trainer. They really start upping the uh, the challenge on you at about this point. You know, going through the whatever Charge Stone Cave, um, whatever it's called, it wasn't that difficult. Uh, now they kind of really ramp up the difficulty. And uh, to be honest, I'm actually going to put that to my advantage here. Probably gonna have to use that EXP share as well because I have like under leveled units here that, um, it would be very difficult to work with some of these units. I mean, Big Leaf really can't do much. I mean, the Zebra would take it out, the Tranquil would take it out. It just would not do well in this place. I mean, you got the PC right now nearby, so you might as well just use it. Alright, so that's just a small sample of what... what they have here. Got these weird ledges here, and, uh... It, it, you know, it's not like the biking ones, like, get to use your... In fact, I don't even think you can use your bike. Uh, but you walk on it, and, um... You have to basically keep moving, otherwise you fall off. It's like you're walking on a tightrope or something. Alright, um... I guess you get some EVs here, so I might as well... Milk out as much, uh... ...stuff as I can here. Uh, but this is not where I'm going to be doing, and I, okay, I can't even get out of the grass here, come on. It's like, like five steps you get attacked three times, I mean, seriously? Waste of repel for five steps here, but you know, I was getting pretty tempted to. Okay, we're gonna skip the trainers just for now, and um, let's head on to the right here. All right, uh, this spot here is going to be a fairly important spot for me, and the next part you're gonna see. Uh, Oh, uh, Skype call here, I guess. Uh, this is a really useless conversation, so you can just read that. I don't really care about it. Uh, but the next part is going to be a lot of, uh, level crunching, and so we'll do that in the next part. Alright, see you guys later.